Hello, I am Reverend Maureen Cotton from The Soulful Wedding, and my goal is to help you have a deeply authentic and meaningful wedding ceremony. To help with that, today I'm going to tell you about the tree planting ritual, and I'm going to walk you through a few variations that you can do to really make it just right for you. In essence, the tree planting ritual has beautiful symbolism to it. You have a small tree or just a house plant if you're not in a place in your life where you have a home to go to to plant the tree you can have just a simple house plant that you have at the ceremony and during the ceremony you and your partner both add soil to the pot and it can be just that simple and it can the, the soil represents you what you're bringing to the relationship what you're bringing to nurture this plant and then your officiant can really riff in any direction they want on how your marriage is not made by your wedding day but it's something that will be nurtured and tended to over time you can talk about um, the nutrients in the soil being bringing being the experiences that you bring to it things like that there's other layers that you can add because you can have the soil of the plant and you can also water the plant and if you have that second step there's different directions you can go with it if you come from a tradition such as the catholic tradition that honors holy water that maybe came from a special site or came from a special church you could bring that water and have that be honoring that tradition to have holy water be something that nurtures the plant, that nurtures your marriage. You also could have, quote, holy water, sacred water, that is made sacred through the blessings of your families or other people that you choose. So I have done it where we had the plant and then we invited up, well, the wedding party is already standing, and then we invited the parents to come stand with the wedding party, and a carafe of water was passed through everyone. And then I offered instructions for people to put a prayer, or if people are more secular minded, simply a good wish into the water. You can have music play in the background to really make this a contemplative moment. The water carafe gets passed down, and then afterward, the couple, depending on the setup, can sprinkle water. We don't want anybody getting themselves wet during the ceremony. I think we just sprinkled water because I was kind of holding it, but if you had on a table and if you had something that really poured easily, they could pour the water in. So in that way, they're receiving the blessings of their family and friends. It's acknowledging the support and all of that. I've never done it where it included people beyond that, but there's absolutely no reason that you couldn't have a small vessel of water that was passed to everybody at the wedding. And um, if you want more guidance on that, look up my ring warming ritual video and it will explain how I will sometimes include a community as large as 150 or 200 people. You could do the same thing with this water. One other fun variation, I worked with a couple who had moved a lot in their life together and the concept of home and what is home and how do you create home and finding home in each other was a central theme to their story, to their relationship really. So then in the story I told on the wedding day. And so they actually went and got soil from like seven or eight different places where they had lived together, had special moments together. And so they had each little jar labeled and it was another way to honor their story. So all of these rituals, there's always more layers to add on, but hopefully this gives you a little inspiration.